Uh, so, hello everyone and welcome and welcome back to those of you who have been here before to Masterclass 5 in the Change Shaping Schools Masterclass series. This is our final one, uh, sadly. So, last time we heard from teachers and a student in Romania and Serbia about their social innovation projects. This time, we're lucky enough to hear about how schools in Cyprus and Croatia are getting on in their social innovation education journeys. Um, for those of you who are new, my name is Jen Wall, I'm from Social Enterprise International, one of the project partners, and I was actually part of the project team who created Social Innovation Education. We're based in the UK, and the rest of the project team will just say a quick hello, where they're from, and their organisations. So, Maria Bell? Hello, my name is Maria Bell Dutari, I'm also from the CI. Welcome, everybody. Thank you. Theo? Yes, hello everyone. Welcome back. I'm Theo from Stimuli for Social Change. I'm the project manager of the project and uh, very happy to hear from uh, the schools and the teachers from Cyprus and Croatia about social innovation education. Thanks, Theo. Mariana? Hello everyone, this is Mariana from CSI. I am the project manager of uh, CSS EU for Cyprus and I am delighted today because I have two wonderful teachers next to me and we're going to discuss about all the beautiful things they're doing. Thanks Mariana, very much looking forward to it. Mada? Hello everyone, this is Madalina Pouros from Romania representing All Group. We are the partnering organization here in uh, Romania. And I'm really excited about this evening and listening to teachers from Cyprus and Croatia. Thank you. Me too. Um, Nicolina? Hi, everybody. I'm Nicolina de Marc from Croatia. I am the International Relations Coordinator for Par University of Applied Sciences. And I'm happy to see some teachers from Croatia here and hear about how they're doing with the social innovation education projects. Great. Thank you. And Uros? Hi everybody, my name is Urosh, I'm from, from Serbia, from GitHub, and I'm really looking forward to see all the projects today, that's it. Great, thank you, wonderful. So, um, people, if, you, if people still keep writing hello and where you're from in the chat, that would be great just to get to know people a bit, a bit of your background, why you're interested in social innovation education. Um, and just a brief in overview of the project for any newcomers. Um, so this project is about developing social innovation education in Romania, Serbia, Croatia and Cyprus. Um, it's an educational model that empowers and enables young people to um, an identify, analyze and address social and sustainability issues in their local community. Um, which are all guided by the Sustainable Development Goals. Um, the young people co-create and collaborate with adults, whoever might be interested, um, on the projects, and they develop their social innovation competencies as they go. And we hope a confidence, ability, mindset, and drive to carry this on in the future so they can make positive social change. So, enough of me. Let's move on to Cyprus. We are really excited to hear about your project. So I'm going to hand over to Mariana and her lovely teachers there. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. There is some echo. Can Mariana, can you mute? Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Give us a moment with uh, sharing. No problem. <laughs> okay. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining. I'm Marilena Haralambos, and here with. I am Nadia. Hello. Hello. Can we have uh, it full screen, please? Sorry, it's just easier to see if we do. Okay. <laughs> Give us a moment. Very nice to meet you both, though. <laughs> 
channel. Okay, so you just need to tell me when to move the slide on, okay? <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe you okay. Um, so, sorry for the convenience, we start again. Uh, we are teachers from the La Chalaiseum School uh, located in Nicosia, Cyprus. And um, I'll move forward, please. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the management of our school uh, sets the promotion of the sustainable development goals as one of its core goals. Sorry, so I'm trying the, to move them. <laughs> yes. Uh, so since the beginning of this school year, we proclaim a contest amongst the students to implement actions related to the achievement of goals uh, in the school settings. Uh, there is a team a committee to observe the actions uh, taken by students. And uh, the winning team will get uh, an extra school trip as a prize. Okay. Our team uh, decided to work on the third sustainable uh, um, development goal, which is good health and well being. And we announced the project in the school. And uh, firstly, we formed the teachers' group. Um, there are six uh, teachers in our group from various uh, specialties. We have a physical educator. Uh, and Greek language teacher and biology, um, home economics, computer arts and economics and math teacher. Then the teacher group from the students group, we selected two year of, uh, of year 10 classes. And this is a number of 33 students. And uh, we chose these uh, students because we see them on a daily basis, so it would be easier to meet with them and work with them. And another reason was to, uh, because the majority of the students uh, has uh, low grades and behavior issues, and we believe that the project will motivate them to, to be more creative and develop a more positive attitude towards schools. Uh, we also included in our team, um, students who are athletes and will be acting as mentors in the team. Change, please. So we started our work with uh, co-creation labs. We divided our students into groups and uh, organized the co-creation co labs. Uh, after a bingo game where the students got to know each other, we had um, presented the sustainable development goals and the change shaping schools project, along with uh, another uh, preparatory and parallel, parallel activities that took already place in our school. And uh, afterwards in this uh, initiative uh, meeting, our uh, athletes acted as uh, mentors and spoke about the benefits of end of exercise and uh, for our health and uh, their well being. Uh, there was a discussion with the students involved where students came uh, up with various suggestions for future activities. And some of their suggestions were to have uh, dance competitions, basketball tournaments, and self defense classes. Uh, the major uh, idea was to create an outdoor gym that will be open ideally outside the school hours and open to the community to, so that more people can benefit from it. Uh, students uh, express their concern about the security of the gym, the safety of the people using the gym and the accessibility of the gym from people with disabilities. So we gathered together all the suggestions from our students. And so we set our final goal to create a communal outside, outside uh, gym. The students propose collaboration with external partners apart from their parents who will help us implement these projects, such as sports trainers, physiotherapists, and uh, clinical dietitians. And uh, they also propose a cooperation with the Department of, of Architecture from the University of Cyprus. This will help us uh, set up the planning of the gym 
and also the decoration of the surrounding walls, maybe with some graffitis displaying the exercise to be performed, some like this. Um, following up the um, meeting the stakeholders of the project, we asked the major of uh, Lacha, Mr. Christos Pizarras, to come to our school. Um, he had uh, an, a nice conversation with our students where he heard our ideas and our involvement in the CSSEU project. And uh, he embraced the idea of a communal um, park that will be used by the community. In February, we held the second co-creation lab. We invited the inspector of physical education, secondary education, and the clinical nutritionist and dietitian to come to our school and speak to our uh, students. Um, as, yes, please change. Um, a similar um, outdoor uh, gym that was implemented in the nearby area uh, was presented to the students along with the benefits of calisthenic gymnastics and proper nutrition along exercising. Students were very enthusiastic about the, this meeting and had a very construct, constructive conversation with our guests. Uh, we have a student testimonial I would like to share with you. It's not here, it's as, I will just read it and we'll see it later on. Um, this is uh, Anastasios who works in the group as an athlete mentor. He said, being involved in this European program is a blessing for me. I feel like I give back to the community because I share my knowledge about sports and exercising. Furthermore, this program taught us a lot and it's only the beginning. Imagine how many more things are there to learn. Moreover, we make new friends with students from other classes. I personally believe that I was chosen for a reason and I'm very thankful for that. I will try my best to both learn and teach others. Anastasia. Okay. Now on, we will briefly present some of the actions towards the achievement of various sustainable development goals in our school. Could you please speak closer to the uh, computer or microphone, please? We can't hear you as well as we could your colleague. Thank you. <laughs> and now you're muted. <laughs> OK, now on, we will briefly present some of the other actions towards the achievement of various sustainable development goals in our school, held with the participation of a larger group of teachers and students. Uh, some classes chose to embellish their classrooms, as you can see here. Uh, this was done mostly to, during weekends because we cannot do it on uh, school uh, periods. Uh, other students choose to decorate various spots in the school premises. You can see it on the next slide. Here you are. A volunteering group decided to collect blankets, food, etc., and hold sweet bazaar to support POSE, an organization devoted to the protection of animals without shelter. You can see it on the next. Okay. Another interesting initiative towards the actions for the climate is. Tiganokimisi, if you can show us. The Tiganokimisi track visited our school and presented us how we use cooking oil is being recycled. We also organized uh, the Bazaar of Love. On the next slide, this is the best mode, yes. Uh, where second-hand items and clothes were sold in order to promote the usability and support students in need. In our sports week, we had the opportunity to learn uh, more about and try various exciting sports such as martial arts, horse riding, and archery. 
one of our students who is involved in archery acted as teacher and showed her classmates the secrets of archery. We also had the opportunity to host health experts to talk to the students about maintaining a healthy lifestyle. We had a lecture about the disadvantage of smoking from a doctor, as you can see here. And also a lecture on mental health and how to manage stress, especially during the very stressful periods of half term exams. We also organize a stress relief street dance seminar in our school. And we had a great time, as you can see here, we, we can do all these things uh, during the breaks <laughs> because uh, as you can all know, we, we, it's very stressful and uh, very, we cannot hold all the things together. We try to have enjoyable breaks where students can sing, dance, or play table tennis and football tennis. Football, see, no, table football. On the next, okay. Uh, we also organize twice a year a blood donation where year 12 students, parents, and teachers donate for their fellow citizens. Uh, throughout the year, students grow goods such as carrots, pomegranates, and roses in our schoolyard, as you can see here. Uh, in cooperation with local producers, these goods are turned into products such as carob syrup, that is a local product, pomegranates, balsamic vinegar, and rose water. They are sold to support all the school activities. That's why we can do all these things. And Marilena, can we be, please go back to the whole festival slide? So I will. Here, thank you. So back to our project. Um, throughout the co-creation uh, process, we realized that our biggest uh, issue will be if we had enough funds to finally make to the communal gym. So the students thought that we could arrange uh, for a fall festival. So with the participation of both students, teachers, parents, and the nearby communities to raise funds for the gym. This festival took place in last November, and uh, there were various activities in it, such as uh, traditional dancers, uh, concerts from school bands and other bands from nearby schools. Uh, we had a handcrafts bazaar, food and drinks bazaar, and was successfully implemented with the support of the Center for Social Innovation and our country's CSSEU ambassador, who we thank very much. Um, the participation was overwhelming and participants enjoying this, that the time spent there very much. Uh, it came apparent that uh, it is a public demand to have another um, festival. So we are already planning our spring festival on May 6th. And uh, we hope that you can join us and meet you in person. Change, please. Go oh, to the last one, please. So all the actions taken, the, the last one, please. Yeah, here. Yeah. All the actions taken to for this project and other uh, activities of our school can be found in our school website and our Facebook profile. So please, uh, if you want to follow us, keep up with us, join us. <laughs> Thank you very much for your attention. And we are here for any questions if you like to ask anything. Thank you so much. That was really great to hear about your projects and also how you help your young people relax and you as well, I hope, because I know how stressful it can be to uh, work in a school. Um, 
and it looks like it complements the projects really well. So does anyone have any questions or comments, whether they'd like to write them in the chat or unmute and share? Both are welcome. Uh, maybe then after the Croatian presentations also we can have a, uh, a, a more questions and discussion between the schools. Okay, thanks Teo. So um, thank you very much Cyprus um, and Mariana. So let's move on to Nicolina in Croatia. I'll hand over to you now. Thank you. Just a moment. Okay, can you all see my little presentation here? Yes. Okay, so uh, just as a little introduction before I hand it over to one of the teachers here, uh, I wanted to introduce uh, the schools that are so far started participating and implementing some activities within the scope of the project. And here's a little map of Croatia just so you'll be easier able to place uh, where schools exactly are located. Uh, the blue dot is Par, this is where we are in the city of Rijeka, and then we have the region of Istria here to the west, where we have the school, uh, primary school Vladimira Nazora in Pazin, the town of Pazin, and primary school Vazmoslav Gržalja in the town of Buzet, here in the north. And then further down south, uh, we have primary school Don Mihovila Pavlinovića uh, in the town of Metković. We have uh, three more schools who are participating, but they haven't gotten far with uh, implementation just yet, so we'll leave their presentation for some of the uh, multiplier events in the future. Uh, first up, we have the primary school Vladimira Nazara in Pazin, and uh, joining us is the teacher named Petra Nefat, who will present some of the activities they started um, doing with their pupils. So Petra, if you could say hi, she will be talking in Croatian and I'll be jumping in with translations every now and then. Uh, hi. Uh, here I am. <laughs> But we will uh, let the presentation to go on. Okay, I okay. uh, just wanted to do a little quick note. Petra, yes, because... da, da, sad ću na hrvatsko. Ah, okay. Često da se predstavim. Evo, ja sam Petra Nefa. Čujete me? Dobro. Učiteljica sam razredne nastave u osnovnoj školi Vladimira Nazora Pazin i imam kao izvannastavnu aktivnost Eko grupu. Uh, so Petra is a teacher of primary education. Uh, she has a whole class and as an extracurricular activity, she has an ecology group or eco group. Uh, ja i kolegica, također učiteljica uh, Tatjana Maligec, uh, koja je sa svojim prvim A razredom odlučila smo se uključiti projektu. Ukupno nas ima 27, 6 učenika eko grupe i 21 učenik prvog razreda. Mm -hmm. So joining Petra is another teacher named Tatjana Maligec. Uh, so they combined the eco Maligets. group, uh, Maligets, sorry, which is an eco group mm -hmm. uh, combined with the primary education class. So they have 27 students in total. Six of them are in the eco group and 21 in the first class. Tako je. Započeli smo s međusobnim upoznavanjem. Uh, učenici su bili smješteni u grupe. Upoznavali su se, a nakon toga i iznosili neka svoja mišljenja i odgovarali na pitanja. Na primjer, bili radije bio pametan ili imao moć, ne znam, tako razno razne uh, pitanja smo odgovarali. Nakon toga krenuli u razgledavanje školskog dvorišta u kojem su oni uh, razgledavali i nakon toga pisali i crtali, jer su prvašići manji, što bi voljeli da se u našem školskom parku nalazi. 
Okay, so the students started working uh, within little groups. They had a few introductory activities uh, to get to know each other better. Uh, for the group to be better combined. And they also did some activities uh, from our handbook, for example, Would You Rather, where they would uh, choose certain things they would rather do um, and uh, express some of their interests, uh, ideas, and so on. Then they went outside uh, into their school park where they either drew or wrote, depending on their age, some of their plans and ideas uh, for the uh, environment of the school. Tako je. Nakon uh, ta da sata upoznavanja i ideja, došli smo do njihove želje da bi se u, mogao uljepšati naš školski park. Uh, da bi to učinili, odlučili smo malo na koji sve to način možemo i uh, njihove ideje koje smo prikupile. Uh, malo smo porazgovarali o tome, evo ih, uh, koje su ostvarive koje ipak možda nisu i tako došli do e, nekih njihovih prijedloga i naših e, prijedloga kako da uljepšamo i kojim sredstvima možemo uljepšati školski park. Ok, so once the students express their ideas uh, after the group work, uh, they came up with certain ideas and decided that they want to embellish and improve uh, the school park with new content and new, um, what's the word, maybe equipment or facilities. Yes. So uh, yeah, no. they had some ideas and then they discussed which of them are doable, which of them are not doable, uh, which one will be uh, you know, sustainable long term, and uh, how they would um, source some of the things they wanted to improve or implement. Uh, Petra, imate možda primere što se može, što se ne može? Da, da. E, ovako, e, učinili bi e, to. Znači, e, automobilskim gumama i drvenim panjevima razno raznih oblika. Već smo nabavile gume od lokalnog vulkanizera. Sada ih treba oprati, treba ih e, ofarbati, osušiti i od njih bi stvorili e, jednu penjalicu i jedan tunel za provlačenje, a u neke posadili i cvijeće, pošto naš park baš nema puno cvijeća. Ok. So, uh, I, uh, djeca ima još i zadatak pronaći još neke drvene površine različitih oblika od koje bih iskoristili za uh, raditi nogostup, penjalicu i slično. Tako da sada idemo u uh, realizaciju do negdje kraja, znači školske godine. Mm -hmm. So uh, the students are planning to uh, finish the project of the school park embellishment by the end of the school year. Uh, and uh, some of the ideas that they have that they will be doing is to use and uh, so practically upcycle or reuse old car tires to build some of the equipment, both for playing, for um, let's say game activities, but also uh, to build certain um, to plant uh, flowers and plants into the holders, if I got it correctly. So into yes. the tires. Mm -hmm. They will also be building um, certain equipment to play with, which I'm not sure how to translate into English. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but it's playground difficult. equipment, uh, in short. Of the playground board. equipment. Yes, some polygon equipment. Okay. I nakon toga, uh, kada se budemo sljedeći put našli, ili na ovaj ili na drugi način. Nadam se da ćemo imati već nešto izrađeno i napravit ćemo poslat ne, razno različite, razno razne isličice i tako. Tako da nadamo se ljepšem vremenu i što prijašnjoj realizaciji svega što smo si zamislili. Oni su maleni i sada nam je malo teže to realizirati. Čekat ćemo sad nekih mjesec dana da se vrijeme mm -hmm. proljepša, da se možemo uh, ponovo vratiti i odrađivati što smo zamislili. Evo, toliko yes, od nas. So, uh, the students will keep working on their project. Uh, they might have to wait a little for the next couple of weeks because the weather is bad uh, and they're pretty small. So, we want to commend both the students and the teacher because, you know, they're first and second class. They're uh, aged from seven to ten. So, this is very impressive for them as a group to be building something this impressive. 
and uh, ambitious. <laughs> so they will keep working and especially they plan to build all the equipment and uh, finish the park once uh, closer to spring, once the weather gets uh, better. So this is all from them for now. Uh, they will have more to share uh, in uh, our upcoming meetings and some multiplier events, but uh, this is all from Petra and she says hi to everyone as well. Hi, bye to everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Petra and Nicolina. Um, okay. Nicolina, are you going to continue on to the- Yes, I will. Wonderful, I thank just, you. I just want to mention before I move on, from the same school, we also have two additional groups that will be working separately as their own co-creation labs uh, in the context of their civic education classes but more on that uh, in a future meeting. Next up, we have the primary school Don Mihovila Pavlinovića in the town of Metković. Uh, we uh, were supposed to have a teacher of them joining us, but she couldn't. Uh, so I will just shortly present what they will be doing with their students uh, and what they have started doing. So they will also have two separate co-creation labs. Uh, one of them will be most related, related to ecology. So this will be three teachers working together with a mixed group of students uh, who are mostly concerned with the themes of recycling, uh, ecology and waste management. So specifically, they'll be looking at uh, how the school manages waste on their school level, uh, build some new solutions for that, and then try to take that outside of the school and into the local community. So to connect everything that's going on in their school and in the classes to a wider environment um, of the people they know. Uh, there will be also a separate group, which is a special education class uh, combined with a music education class, uh, who will be doing a separate co-creation lab that is mostly focused on ecology with a special focus on social inclusion as well. I just want to ask, because I haven't seen everybody who joined, do we have any teachers from uh, Don Mihovila Pavlinovića who maybe want to say a few words? Okay, apparently not. If so, please feel free to say hi in the chat and we'll make sure to um, make keep everybody informed about your projects as well. So uh, as I said, the first one will be three teachers working together. The second one will be two, uh, three teachers working together and they both have separate classes and uh, children of different ages combined together into groups for co-creation labs. And the third school uh, that will be implementing the project and started working on some ideas already is the primary school Vazmoslav Gržalja in Buzet in Istria. Um, we don't have any specific information about their content and uh, activities just yet. They have just started working with the students. Uh, but I see a few of the teachers here in the participant list. So if somebody wants to uh, maybe greet the group in English or Croatian, both will be fine. I'd be happy to translate. Would you need to say that in Croatian so that they know you're talking to them as well, just in case? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank Može. you. Imamo li koga ovdje iz osnovne škole u Buzetu da se može samo obrati s par riječi, a ja ću rado prevoditi ako treba? Ili možete slobodno podijeliti neke informacije o vašim dosadašnjim projektima koje su slične ovom ili nekim vašim aktivnostima općenito? Okay, it appears that we do not, <laughs> but that's okay. I don't want to put anybody on the spot anyway. Uh, I'm glad that they're here if they're following uh, following the webinar in the first place. And um, I met uh, representatives of the schools personally, and I have high hopes for their students because they're very active in projects in other regards and subject areas. I've seen they have eco groups, gardening groups. Uh, they had uh, larger scale projects before. Uh, in digital skills as well, language learning and so on. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what will come out of these schools too. I think this is about it from our Croatian participants for now. If anybody has any questions or any comments, 
um, i učitelji iz Hrvatske ako imate bilo kakva pitanja za druge kolege ili za nas slobodno se, slobodno se javite. Thank you, Nicolina. Uh, we could have any questions or comments in the chat or spoken for um, the Cypriot presentations and the Croatian presentations now as well, if people want. Uh, Mariana, um, would you mind saying that in Greek for me, please? Okay. Εάν έχουμε ερωτήσεις ε, πάνω στην ε, παρουσίαση της Κυπριακής Ομάδας ή της Κροάτικης Ομάδας, ε, μπορείτε να ρωτήσετε. Ήρθε η ώρα. From my point of view, I've really enjoyed hearing about these projects in each school and it's so interesting to see the different um, issues that are identified in each country so that it gives you an idea of the different challenges we face, but that we all have unique and creative solutions to come up uh, with if we're all working together. So thank you for sharing. <laughs> Project team are also welcome to comment. Can I can can I say something too? Of course, please. Um, well, I also want to say uh, thank you again to the school sharing the experiences, and and it is amazing to, as you say, to see the to hear about the different um, uh, SDGs, uh, sustainable development goals that, that are chosen from the students side, um, and it is quite amazing as well um, how the. Um, the SDG that is related to the environment and, uh, you know, climate crisis, um, it, it always, it, it kind of, in many countries, in, in again and again, keeps on coming, on coming up because people are really, and students as well, and everyone is really um, conscious of how we really have to take care of our environment and put our, all of our efforts to mitigate um, the climate crisis as much as we can. So um, I'm really glad to see the project related to um, recycling, recycling clothes, for example, um, etc. So it's really great to see these, and thank you very much for all the work that you do through these projects. Uh, I would also like to thank uh, all the presenters, Mariana, uh, the teachers, uh, Marilena, Nadia, uh, Nicolina and Petra, and I have, uh, in Croatia, it's a primary school, so they are very, very young children uh, looking forward to the results. Uh, just I would like to ask a couple of things to the Cypriot team. Uh, first, uh, I really like the idea that you use uh, some students as mentors, uh, exhibiting uh, their skills and helping the other students to uh, to participate in some activities uh, and how you organize this, I would like to tell us. And the second question is uh, uh, how much and if you found useful the resources that we have, the co-creation guide and the handbook with the activities, which are also available in Greek, Croatian, Serbian and uh, Romanian. Thank you, Theophilos. Um, uh, when we decided to work on the third goal, we said that we should utilize uh, students who are in, more engaged in sports. And uh, also we have um, selective uh, lessons in our school. So we used uh, students from uh, sports and for um, uh, home economics where they study issues with uh, good nutrition and uh, uh, there are a lot of things like that. Uh, so we think that um, students are, are better communicators to, to their classmates rather than uh, teachers or other adults. So we think to utilize them and say firsthand their experiences from uh, their sporting act actions. Um, regarding the um, the process and the stages, yes, it is very helpful. And because um, you have the guidelines and you just go through the steps to uh, that must be filled. And we have many help from Mariana and the other colleagues here from the CSI Center. They are always by our side to um, explain the process and uh, show 
what is needs to be done. And, but it's not, um, this is, must, must not be a throwback, the, the bureaucracy to step out of the project just to avoid the, the graphiocracy. If I can say something, um, on you, so uh, it is a teamwork and uh, the principal of uh, the school, Mr. Tassos, that you can hear us right now, I think, um, has all these uh, great ideas and the teachers and the students, not only the, our group, the group of, um, of Change School uh, project, uh, all the, um, the students of the school uh, get together and these ideas are ideas that uh, are made during the whole school year. Uh, and we use mentors for each for each one. Um, if uh, they have some uh, special interests, we can uh, use them. We and uh, yes, we try to use them. And uh, this is an idea that came up with, uh, from the principal, the teachers, the students, and it's a great teamwork. So nobody gets my chef book and this. we all work together and we grow the mentality that we share the knowledge and the experiences. Fantastic. I have questions too, actually, as this model is really, really great. But Maria Teodoro has a question. Yes, this is me. Hi, from Cyprus. Hi. Um, sorry, you cannot uh, see me. But you, I'm sure you can hear me, yeah? Yes. Uh, just a quick question. First of all, let me let me tell you how much I enjoy both presentations by the Greek Cypriot um, school in Lacha and in Croatia, of course. Uh, you've done an amazing work, all of you. I'm so I'm so excited about this as a newcomer. I've just uh, met Mariana online last Wednesday. Uh, so we're about to make the decision whether to join this lovely group or not, but it seems that they have been doing such a great work so far. And, and I'm just wondering whether it would be feasible enough for um, only a class of 18 students that we are thinking of uh, working with within, within the framework of this project and um, have the chance to implement some of these uh, deliverables of yours and uh, even make use of uh, the same kind of multiplier events you've done uh, so far. Um, having in mind the tight schedule that we all have, and I'm pretty sure that you have it in Croatia as well as in, in Cyprus, you know girls how uh, tight our schedule is and uh, with the exams and everything. Sorry? Okay, so um, I'm just wondering whether this is quite feasible for us, even if we join the project in this point in time and um, manage to do all this work. I, I understand it finishes sometime in uh, 24, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, Mariana, yeah, would know. you like to answer that? From my point of view, eight, a group of 18 is perfect. That would work really well. Um, and Mariana, if you want to give some more um, country-specific answer there. Well, thank you very much for this. Uh, the truth is that, yes, we have the same struggle, I think not only in Cyprus, but in general in schools and especially in secondary education because teachers are always in a rush. Uh, with the exams, with all the things they have to uh, schedule and arrange. Uh, being a teacher myself and work have been, I've, I've been working in schools for many years, so I know what it means, uh, especially in secondary schools. But yet again, a small group of uh, students perhaps is, is better for this kind of project, because even if you start with a small group, like, uh, for instance, in the Latia team, we can see that they are two small groups, but then when they start doing things, everybody wants to join. And this is one of the milestones of this project. And this is why I'm so excited about it. And I've been following it before managing it as well. 
So uh, from the experience I've had for the almost past two years, what I've seen is that when you see what, it is ha what is happening around, you want to be a part of it. And I think this is one of the, of the biggest benefits of uh, social innovation education because people see it, they like it, and they want to get engaged. They want to be involved. Right, thank so you This so is my much. point of view. Mm -hmm. uh, just a, another quick one, please, if, if I may. Um, wouldn't it be better if we focus on one of your uh, deliverables and focus on, on one subject, let's say um, you've, you've done things on uh, mental health, I think. So wouldn't it be better if we focus on one since we don't have much time ahead and uh, do something on that in, uh, rather than looking um, uh, Maria, well. uh, yes, definitely. Maria can, can you hear me? You don't have to, to organize uh, something in the context of a particular sustainable development goal. Uh -huh. it's, not, it's not mandatory and you are not uh, obliged to deliver something uh, specific. The, the whole point of the project is to, uh, to uh, get the students together with other stakeholders, with yourself, uh, with maybe some parents or some local community stakeholders in order to give the opportunity at first to students, but also uh, to the other uh, participants as well, to identify a local problem, whatever this might be, social, mm -hmm. sustainable, uh, sport, mental health, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter, and to come up with a, with a solution. Uh, this uh, doesn't have to be something big, uh, something to change to change the whole city or whatever they just have it just have to uh, to have a very small impact uh, uh, in the lo in the school and in the local community of course the bigger the impact the better but this is not the point of the project the point is to work with the students and give them the opportunity uh, to co-create something uh, with you and the other stakeholders i see thank you for the clarification so You're it's welcome. not something that will remain within the uh, school but it can remain but but it doesn't it, it doesn't have to be like this uh, it's it's not mandatory it's the ah. the, imp the impact is the secondary right. uh, it's secondary the first the primary the primary scope is for the students to work in something that they like that they would like to change this can Excellent. be something from the most small thing to whatever Right. Thank you very much. Well put, right. Teo. Could I add on to that, please? Um, yeah, is it's like Teo says, it doesn't have to fit in with the previous theme, but the sustainable development goals are there to guide what you choose. But it is very, very important that the young people are involved in that decision process where they choose something that's important to them. Um, because it gives them more, of, it makes them more engaged and has more of an emotional connection. You're an educator, you know that they'll always be more motivated if it's something they're interested in. Um, Mariana, you did have your hand up, but okay. Yes, I did have my hand up because I just wanted to add to this, just because we've had the meeting with uh, Maria and her colleagues last week about uh, joining CSS EU and uh, the, the synthesis of their team is really, really interesting because they have the language teachers and they also have the arts teachers. So the, the main idea uh, was to, to focus on social issues expressed through the arts, which I find a magnificent idea that can be matched with goal number 10, for instance. So um, uh, I just think they were, that they are going to do very lovely things, even if it's not big things. Because uh, as, I, as I say, usually to schools, even the smallest thing matters, even the smallest change. So I think they will do fantastic. I agree. And that sounds a really, really interesting approach. And do we have another Maria who would like to say something? Maria M. No. Bravo, Feli! In English, you I can't understand. Is that Greek? <laughs> yes. 
uh, together and this is a small break, year. slightly yeah. different but in any case uh, just i wanted last thing to say that the sustainable development goals work as the conceptual framework in order to identify a local challenge with the broader challenge with the global challenge it's just to give ideas not it's not obliged to follow just specific uh, one goal okay wonderful right we've got just three minutes left so maria bell last one <laughs> Oh, sorry, I didn't know it was going to be the last one. I just wanted to say something small is that um, we we're talking about the impact that the project may have could be a small impact for sure. Uh, but I was going to say that sometimes the impact, uh, the bigger in impact that happens is within the school, within the participants, within the students, isn't it? Um, because by going through that process and 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 doing all the activities and, and learning how they can help in any local issue, uh, the the impact that they receive for themselves and for the future, uh, being able to be change makers, being able to to be empowered, as Jen said, I think that is such an amazing impact that um, you know, I'm sure you the, the people that have already done these social innovation projects have already seen it in the students, and then uh, the the new schools will see them too. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Maria Bell. Yes, that's a very good point that the impact you may not even see it immediately. It may be something that happens in the future. It may be something that people around the children see at home or in different areas of their life. Um, yes, it's very far reaching and we are coming up to the end of the masterclass. So I'd like to say thank you to everyone for being here. It's been so wonderful hearing about your projects. Um, and lovely to have so many people here today uh, sharing their ideas um, and listening to the school presentations. I will send out an email to everybody who's attended uh, with a short evaluation questionnaire, which we'd really appreciate if you could complete, um, as well as some information from today's session. This is the fifth in a series of five masterclasses, so if you haven't seen the other four please check them out on our website which i will put in the email um you can watch them in order or you can drop into them as you feel you need the first one was an introduction to social innovation education and the second one was looking at projects in spain the third one was on the beginnings of the projects in romania and serbia and then the fourth masterclass was about how those projects were progressing. Um, please check out our website for any resources that you may need. Um, as Teo said, they are in English, Greek, Romanian, Serbian and Croatian. Uh, so they should be, they are there to support and help you. Um, and please feedback what is useful and what could be improved to your the organizations you're working with in each country so that we know for the future. Um, I really wish you all the best of luck in your own social ed innovation education journeys and really look forward to seeing how your projects progress. Um, so thank you and it's exactly five o'clock so Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye. Thank you to Goodbye. the teachers. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.